Slack Enterprise Grid is a culmination of over 500 months of an effort to bring the power of Slack to the largest organizations in the world. Slack Enterprise Grid is a brand new product. Slack Enterprise Grid is a platform to advance productivity at companies of 500 to 500,000 employees. Now, to make this happen, we developed many new features. I'd like to tell you about several of them today. First, we re-architected Slack so you have an unlimited number of workspaces that interconnect. Each workspace is a collection of channels, apps, and members for focused work. The fact that you have an unlimited number of workspaces allows you the flexibility to structure Slack the way that your organization is structured. Now, to bring all those workspaces together, we did several things. First, an organizational-wide employee directory. So every employee in your company can search across all those workspaces instantly, find and connect with their colleagues. Also, we have a new channel type called a shared channel. This channel links two or more workspaces together. This channel can span the entire organization for use cases such as an announcements channel, a help channel, or one to share best practices, or it can connect a certain number of, uh, of workspaces together for functional work. And we have universal search that searches across all of those workspaces. So you can find all content everywhere, and no longer do you have to ask, on which team did I put that document? Now, when we went out and talked to CIOs and IT leaders, they were very clear that they wanted a centralized place to manage and control Slack in their corporations. So we built a new administration dashboard that allows you to do that. However, when we talked to IT team admins in those same large organizations, they were clear that they wanted their teams to remain autonomous. Each team has an identity where work is done. And so this is important. In Slack Enterprise Grid, a team is more than just a folder with nested channels. Team admins continue to set policies and settings, but now they inherit from the organizational rules. And finally, in Slack Enterprise Grid, we've introduced advanced security controls like data loss prevention and e-discovery that are compliant with even the strictest corporate governance rules. Uh, did I mention it supports up to 500,000 employees? <laughs> with Slack Enterprise Grid, we aim to bring humanity back to the workplace. And I'd like to show you a demo, but before we begin, I have to invite onto the stage Leah Jones, who leads our engineering team that built Slack Enterprise Grid. Good to see you. I'm so happy to be here today. We built Grid for large companies, organizations of tens or hundreds of thousands of users. Grid supports employees in finding focused work within their own workspaces while still being able to collaborate, message, and find expertise across the entire organization. In today's demo, Ilan and I both work at the Acme organization, where we build flying umbrellas. I'm a salesperson living in New York. Wait. Let's make this a little more real. I gotta look nice for my customers. <laughs> In fact, it's the afternoon. I just came back from a customer meeting. It was a good meeting. <laughs> and you can see on the left my workspace in Slack. In sales, we've actually been using Slack for about a year now. And I'm a developer finishing up a stand-up in our San Francisco office. 
as you can tell from the charming Legos, <laughs> and my Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I work on Acme R&D, and we've been using Slack for about two, two and a half years now. We use it to share ideas and work together to build Acme's latest products. However, when we want to collaborate with our sales colleagues, we have to resort to email, to in-person meetings, or to conference calls. Those were tough times. But fortunately, we recently migrated to Enterprise Grid. We brought all of our teams together, and we still have our individual workspaces. On the sales team, I still collaborate with my sales and marketing colleagues in order to answer customer inquiries quickly and bring our, our flying umbrellas to market. For example, we have channels like the Sales Leads channel that powers a micro workflow that brings leads automatically from our website and where our colleagues can highlight their connections and their account history with each one of these accounts. Another example is the Sales Team channel where our sales team connects with information from Salesforce and from Google Docs for motivation and productivity. Whereas on my R&D workspace, which you can see on the right, engineering, design, and product work closely together. With this separate workspace, we're able to work the way that we want to. For example, we have a triage channel. This channel allows us to quickly track and respond to new customer issues in near real time. As you can see, one of our product managers has reported a new issue. She's noted that our flying umbrella's batteries lose charge when they get wet. Obviously kind of an issue for our company. <laughs> to respond to this, I'm going to add a bug emoji to this message. What this will do is automatically file this in our bug tracking system for later triage, uh, prioritization, and subsequent engineering work. Another workflow that we use on R&D is our DevOps alerts channel. In this channel, we can monitor and respond to critical system issues using integrations such as PagerDuty. This is great. We each have our workspaces for focused work. Those noisy edge channels and bots are nowhere to be found in my sales workspace. And my noisy friends from sales are nowhere to be found in mine. <laughs> At the same time, as a salesperson, I want to share product ideas with Leah and her team. For this, Slack Enterprise Grid gives me a new channel type called a shared channel that connects multiple workspaces together. Here in the Great idea Ideas channel, you can see that it's shared by the circles next to the name. We connect together, and I can bring ideas that I'm hearing in the field. I just mentioned I was with Globex, one of our largest customers. And while it was a good meeting, they did mention that our umbrellas are slightly unstable in stormy weather. I post that to the channel, and Leah and her team can see it instantly. Now that I have access to this information, sales and engineering can work together to figure out what to do. Before I do that, I'd love to reach out to the customer for more details. Ilan, could you share their contact details and channel? A simple question like this could have been complicated before Enterprise Grid. We would have had to resort to email, logging into enterprise applications. But now what we have is we've rolled out a bot onto the sales team that the sales team has access to and is in the shared channel. I can simply type in the company name and the account information, the contracts, the order forms, and the service requests from our ERP system is available to me. Once I select the account information button, that relevant information is brought back from the ERP system and placed in channel and shared with Leah, as you can see. This is great. I can now reach out to the customer and get the information that engineering needs to fix this. We've been working on a new prototype propeller design, which we think will increase the umbrella's stability. I'm going to create a new channel inside the R&D workspace where we'll work to build this. As you can now see, engineering, design, and product management are collaborating to bring this to market. As we start to get closer to shipping, I'm going to need to work with Sarah 
who's on our technical writing team, to develop documentation and help content for this new feature. However, Sarah's not in the R&D workspace. Before Grid, I would have needed to use email or reach out to her uh, via phone or, again, call a meeting. With Grid, this is not a problem. I can search and message anyone in my whole organization. I've now reached out to Sarah and asked her to join us on this project. In an ideal world, I would love to be able to invite her to this channel to be able to share the content that we've already developed and identify the team members that she'll need to work with on this project. With Grid, this is not a problem. I can simply share this channel with the writer's workspace and then simply invite Sarah to the channel. With Grid, Slack is truly where work happens across all of Acme. Thank you very much, Leah. It's it was an pleasure. amazing experience building Slack with your team. <laughs> Slack Enterprise Grid is already deployed at our largest customers. You will hear from two of them later today. But already at these customers, IT can set policies across the entire organization using that new organizational dashboard. At the same time, teams remain autonomous, they have their own identity, and they can continue to set local policies that now inherit from those organizational policies. Employees have an unlimited number of workspaces that give them the flexibility to self-organize. And they connect between those workspaces with an organizational-wide employee directory, shared channels, and universal search that spans all corporate knowledge. With Slack Enterprise Grid, employees at large companies can now have simpler, more pleasant, and more productive lives. Thank you very much.